George Galloway is one of quite a few people today saying Ken Livingstone talked about the facts. Why do you believe it was anti-Semitic? Well, George expressed it as ever far better than Ken Livingstone. George said Zionism and Nazism are two sides of the same coin. Now, that is clearly not true. Nazism was intended to destroy the Jewish people. That was his intention. The problem is that people use anti-Zionism to conceal uh, their anti-Semitism. If you say you're anti-Zionist, well, what you're really saying is you're against the existence of the state of Israel. If you don't want Israel to exist, that is clearly anti-Semitic. It's not a kind of vaguely nice opinion. It's actually a very bad opinion. George Galloway? No, Zionism and Israel are political constructs. If you were for the downfall of the Soviet Union, as John was, that did mean you hated Russian people. In fact, you could say it meant the opposite, that you wanted to liberate the Russian people from the political system under which they lived. Ken Livingstone doesn't have a racist bone in his body. In fact, he'd still be the mayor of London if he hadn't gone out on a limb on anti-racist causes over and over again. We cannot allow this conflation. It's dangerous for everybody. Being against Israel is not being against Jews. Many Jews are against Israel. You've just had one on the screen, Lenny Brunner. Do you, do you accept that, that you can be anti-Israel without being anti-Semitic, or do you believe that is the, that's the lie? You're, it, the question is not about whether you're for or against Israel. Uh, people actually conflate the Israeli state, the Israeli government, actions of the settlers, the actions of Likud, the statements of Benjamin Netanyahu. Um, people who don't want Israel to exist, among whom uh, are a very large number of people on, on the ultra-left. I don't say George is one of those, but there are people for whom anti-Zionism is a shield behind which they, uh, they march. They call Israel a, a country with its own Supreme Court that finds against its own government. They call that an apartheid do, state. Do you accept that some people do do that? Uh, there are some. The anti-Semitism exists. It's always existed. The Daily Mail used to fund it. But this is a on-the-left problem, you know, in particular, no. that some people uh, hide behind uh, being, you know, anti-Israel uh, you know, when they are, in fact... Well, that, there may be some, though I'm, I have to tell you, in all honesty, I've never met one, and Ken Livingston certainly isn't one, and neither is Jeremy Corbyn or John McDonnell. This is a synthetic argument that's being generated here. It's a smoke But it's screen. about offence, isn't it? It's about well, saying, you know, they've things that people on, find deeply hurt. Well, they've seized, seized on legitimate anxieties amongst Jewish people and hurt feelings and exploited it. But what in order need to, to bring it up? I mean, wh why, why mention Hitler in that answer yesterday? Oh, it's something to do with his age. I reference the Second World War all the time. It was our finest hour, the defeat of fascism, the greatest victory of the 20th century and so on. These are uh, perhaps age-related uh, uh, points. John McTurn? It was an absurd thing to say. It was as if to say, we don't really object to Hitler's earlier work when he seemed to be pro-Zionist, but a bit later he went mad. I mean, Hitler was a racist and anti-Semite throughout his entire career. Of and course. To, and to, and to, to name him, to, to, um, to try to defend Naz Shah, to try to defend uh, the Labour Party from accusations as an anti-Semitic crisis inside the party, is, is not just silly. It's actually Ken showing he probably should no longer contribute to public debate. I mean, George Galloway, I mean, um, John McTernan quoted you actually earlier. I mean, you, know, you, you had said Nazism and Zionism were two sides of the same coin. Well, they actually did mint a coin uh, to uh, use in the programme, the, the Havara programme, to ship Jews out of Germany. Here's the point. But do you think that some people might take offence to that? No, Zionism and Nazism, for a brief period of time, cooperated to get... Jews out of Germany because both of them believed that Jews should not be in Germany. The Zionists believed they should be in Palestine for one set of reasons, and the Nazis believed but it for an entirely... But to say Hitler supported entirely... Zionism is surely a perversion. Uh, uh, well, I mean, Zionism was about liberating Jews no, from persons. It's not... Look, the, the Zionists were not Nazis, and the Nazis were not Zionists. And actually, living, if you look at the transcript, Livingston never said that they were. He said that they cooperated together, and they did. That's a matter of historical fact. He said, he, they support, you, he said, he said you, Hitler supported you, you Zionism. You don't actually need to bring the historian from America. You could bring many historians from Israel. This is not a secret. It's only a secret to those now waking up to it. They were cooperating because they had the same idea That's that sad. the European That's Jews sad. should not be in Europe. They should be in Palestine. Now, what Jeremy Corbyn has said, and I think George Galloway has also said, is actually this is about you attacking Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn is doing a perfectly good job of attacking himself. 
I don't need to do anything. His inability to act with decisiveness about Naz Shah was telling. His silence today is telling. He's a man who pals around with terrorists. He calls Hamas and Hezbollah his friends. He palled around with the Frisian IRA. He's a man who is not trusted and can't be trusted. He can't bring himself to say the word Israel. He was at the Labour Friends of Israel fundraiser last year in the, in the Labour Party conference, couldn't say the word Israel. He does not uh, want to see a two-state solution uh, in the Middle East. He wants to see one state, and that state would be Palestine.